Welcome to the next video in the Guitarist Toolkit Beginner Series. Today we're going to be looking at two new chords, the A major and D major open chords. Let's get started. The A major chord is a little bit uncomfortable because we are going to have to cram right into that second fret with all three fingers. So just bear with me on this one. I'll put a chord diagram up as well, just so we can go through it together and you can kind of get a feel for what that's like. So let's start with our first finger. That's going to go on the second fret of the third string. Our middle finger is going to go above it on the second fret of the fourth string. And our ring finger is going to go below that on the second fret of the second string. So we have... Just like A minor, we're going to start from the fifth string down. Now this is a very common chord to have buzzing on. Usually it's that ring finger. If the hand's a little bit flat, we're going to have some buzzing. So you can experiment with your thumb placement. Sometimes it's more comfortable to have it a little bit higher. Sometimes it's more comfortable to bring it down. The only thing you don't want is a hyperextension of your wrist, meaning when it you know, comes out like this, and you get that kind of bend here with your wrist and your forearm. You really want your hands sort of like you're receiving something, and it kind of just makes its way right onto the instrument. And that's kind of the most comfortable way to play this. What we're going to do now is we're going to look at the D major chord, and then after that I'm going to show you how to transition back and forth between the two chords. Let's go with our D major chord now. Okay, we're going to put our, our fingers down in the number order that they would show up on the chord or on the diagram. So let's take a look at that. So our first finger is going to be in the same spot as the A major, and you're going to see a technique that I use later to transition between the chords. So first finger here, second fret, third string. Our middle finger is going to go on the second fret of the first string. And our third finger, ring finger, is going to go on the third fret of the second string. Now for the D major chord, we're going to start from the fourth string down. So we're just going to be playing those four strings closest to the floor. If you haven't noticed already, there's a correlation between the chord that we're playing and the string that'll be struck uh, for the open chords. So basically, when you're playing an A chord, you're going to start with the A string, our fifth string. When you're playing an E chord, we're going to start with our 6th string, that's the E string, and our D chord, we're going to start with that 4th string because that's a D. So now this chord is another one that's a little bit tricky. I find that making sure that your fingers are rounded and that you're using the tips of your fingers is really ideal. So you don't want this, this sort of flat shape because that's when your buzzing is going to happen. Now that we've gotten through those two chords, let's talk about the transition between them. Well, we know that our first finger is in the same spot for both chords. So what happens is that first finger can be used as a pivot finger to go back and forth. It doesn't have to be moved. So it stays in the same spot, and we pivot back and forth between them. Here's our A right here. And I'm going to take my first finger, and I'm going to pivot over here. Now, if you look really closely, our ring finger actually is also on the same string, just a different fret. So what you can do when making the transition from the A major to the D major is lifting up the middle finger, sliding over the ring to the third fret with the middle up, and then tuck the middle under to the second fret of the first string. And that's the easiest way to go back and forth. So that's the easiest way to transition between the A major and the D major. And now we've learned four open chords and we're halfway there. So great work. I'll see you in the next lesson.